Despite a previous year of social unrest, healthcare leaders within our local black community showed not bitterness and hatred, but compassion and love in an effort to curb the COVID-19 pandemic. And every healthcare worker has been hard at work over the past year, making a substantial impact in the fight against the virus in our communities. Fox 43's Madeline Cuthey spoke with two women who exemplify the qualities of healthcare heroes. Throughout the past two years, healthcare workers have borne the brunt of the pandemic, standing on the front lines to keep communities safe as the virus raged on. We met with two incredible women and healthcare heroes who've personified hard work and dedication in their careers. Dr. Valda Crowder, a physician and veteran healthcare expert, hosted bi weekly webinars to thousands of people across the state and beyond, answering their coronavirus related questions at a time when hesitancy in minority communities was high then grew into webinars for um, anyone and I did like over 2,000 people webinars on you know what they needed to do why it was important you know kind of really explaining it in, in plain science you know in plain terms I felt like people were really trying to be hopeful but not actually really creating a strategy Dr. Crowder says that throughout the past two years, she's most proud of the mental fortitude that she and her fellow frontline healthcare workers have endured. And there's a lot of physicians that are, and nurses that are stressed and strained. Um, and I think that, you know, our, we have to make sure since we're healing others that we make sure that we remain well. I, I tell people, you know, when you go into a healthcare facility now, remember that, you know, these are healthcare workers that have been working for 24 months now in this pandemic, you know what I mean? And have some um, compassion and some um, generosity. For Dr. Ada M. Ua with Lancaster General Health, her role as a family practitioner has meant she's seen firsthand the impacts these years have had on all her patients. Especially right. because we recognized in primary care, we were a gateway. We're the first people who people will call. Very quickly it hit me when patients came to see me or even by telemed, I may be the only person that outside of their families, you know, that they've, you know, communicated with or seen in a while. And I realized very quickly that the impacts this could have. Dr. Amua says she's most proud of the conversations she was able to have in addressing concerns of the minority community about the virus. That people had so many different stereotypes that they were um, addressing. And of course, being a person of color and so being first generation immigrant, a lot of patients tend to listen in more. I am grateful for the opportunity. Vital work as these two women brought critical information, hope, and healing to people all across the Keystone State. Madeline Cudahy, Fox 43 News.